It can be very difficult. I have three very small children and it really affects their sleep. I, you can just, you hear it all the time. It's just very loud. It echoes throughout the, the condo. It rattles the windows sometimes and it keeps you awake. It makes you pretty angry as a downtown resident. Uh, we live here. We also need to sleep down here. And I'm not sure why uh, cars seem to be more important than the people who live downtown. That's reaction from one downtown resident to Mayor John Tory's new restrictions that would ban non-emergency utility work weekdays between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. in a portion of the city's core. The new rules are aimed at tackling traffic, but some say the rule change is coming at the expense of residents who would have to deal with overnight construction noise. The restriction will apply to the area bound by Dundas to the north, Lakeshore Boulevard and Harbour Streets to the south, Bathurst to the west and Jarvis to the east. Work will be allowed in parking lanes between 9.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. And outside of the regulated area, work can be done in the off-peak direction as determined by city staff. Now, Mayor John Tory says it's all about keeping traffic moving, but not everyone is convinced. Unless there is a genuine emergency, we will see far fewer of those trucks and crews representing those different utility companies blocking a middle lane in busy traffic performing routine work. I think every Torontonian has been frustrated by the fact that at all different hours of the day they can suddenly come upon a utility truck doing work which in many, many cases is not emergency work. The policy that the mayor announced today, which I would say without any consultation, with downtown residents or with myself. I was informed that he was changing the policy, not asked whether I would support it. I don't. If you ask me in downtown Toronto, where we have 240,000 people living here, and in the next 25 years, that's going to grow to half a million people. We want people to both live downtown and be able to sleep downtown. Town Councillor Joe Cressy wasn't the only one criticizing the mayor's pl plan. Councillor Kristen Wong Tam issued a lengthy statement with re which read in part, while we support accelerating important infrastructure work, it cannot be at the expense of residents who live here. There needs to be an intelligent and strategic street-by-street -street approach to review where overnight work can take place, as well as meaningful consultation with community groups and residents who call downtown Toronto their home. One councillor did tweet in support for the mayor, Lucy Troisi, he wrote, as a downtown councillor, I was consulted by transportation staff, and I believe this is a balanced approach necessary to keep the city moving. This is about non-emergency utility work, not major road construction. And in response to the criticism, the mayor's office pointed out that overnight noise bylaws will remain in place, though city staff are still able to make exemptions where they see fit.